So we're up here in Piahi, aka Jaws, and heck, you can't ask for a better day and a you know better sky and better water, better everything. It's it's one of those days that you want to remember for a while. The ocean has given me so much. It's the best, and anything less, and it is my greatest provider. Yeah, 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 that's right. That's it right there. I can't imagine my life without the ocean. I would go absolutely nuts. First swell of the season, throughout the day, it's gonna be picking up and turning a lot more north again, and I'm really looking forward to just kind of getting my first big wave. Conditions right now are just picturesque. I mean, the water is super smooth, and there's no wind, and when the waves do start picking up, hopefully it might be a memorable session. Oh, here's a good one. What made the conditions so ideal was that we had no wind. We usually will have, you know, minimum 15, 20 mile an hour winds up at Jaws. I don't think anyone realized that this swell was gonna change big wave surfing. Everyone was charging. There was gnarly wipeouts and basically everybody must have had the wave of their life, at least one wave. So to be able to go out there with dead winds and big pumping surf, all of a sudden you can paddle into bigger waves that were previously unthinkable. This swell came in so clean at such a kind of, normally a pretty gnarly angle west, which allowed for big barrels, and Jaws gave us that opportunity. And then the defining moment was when Shane Dorian dropped into what I think is one of the best, probably the best big wave ever ridden. He paddled into what looked to be a 60 foot face, committed his rail and just locking into this, what seemed to be a 50 foot barrel. And just standing there and sticking his arms up. Basically, can you believe I'm in this thing? 
and then the gnarliest, most angry, violent spit I've ever seen. Just shoot him out. Afterwards, when you know I was talking to him about that wave, he was like, that's the best wave of my life. I would say absolutely that wave ridden by Shane Dorian. That was one of the best barrels ever ridden at Jaws, period. That was basically the, the closer of the day. And I think everyone knew at that point that Shane had you know, really stomped it down, saying that this day was the best big wave paddle surf day ever. Ready to rumble. The next day when I came out there, I was kind of angry at myself. Saw some pictures and it's like, ah, oh, man, dude, I'm catching the little ones. For the first time, I really wanted a wave where I felt like I committed 100%. I'm gonna eat crap, I'm gonna go for big waves, and I'm gonna put myself in that position that the best guys are putting themselves in. Last year, instead of dropping in and chancing whether I was gonna make it or not, I kind of would always kick out. And this year, any wave I paddled for, I wanted to commit 100%. So this one, I just said, you know what, screw it, I'm gonna commit 100%. Basically took to the air like an airplane, went up, I remember going backwards down the wave. It felt like I fell from the roof and just got absolutely obliterated. I had to take five set waves on the head and it's pretty scary being in front of huge mountains of white water, but the fact that I was able to go under it and live through it was pretty interesting, and it, I, it was, you know, a confidence builder. So that's when I really knew that, okay, this was, this was my day. I'm gonna get barreled. I wanna get barreled. You could feel the barrel sucking air into it, like, like almost like air's hitting your face, and it's like the you know the angry monster behind you wants to gobble you up. Those barrels at Jaws, they're so open. It's so perfect. Probably five guys could pull in together and make it. I've been going out there since I was 16, and I always found it to be very difficult to get barreled. I think because, you know, deep down I wasn't ready, and I would always kind of outrun it when I would try to go for it. Whereas now, today, I really was patient. For me, big wave surfing is more of just a passion. I don't think I'll be rushing it like Greg Long and Shane Dorian and Mark Healy and those guys, but it'd be really cool to go surf Mavericks one day. When I feel comfortable and the time comes and I get an invite from some of the boys over there, I'd love to take it up. <laughs> this trip in Australia has been pretty gnarly. I've been going all over, meeting a lot of cool people. It's been awesome because I'm getting to see the best of Australia.